Wonderful day in our floating Tudor mansion. Wouldn't you agree, Stay Buffed? I'm sure you would. Interior, so comfortable, so relaxing, such a happy atmosphere. Little trees in the corner, delightful flowers, wonderful paintings. It's just there's, there's one thing that just doesn't feel right. Well, you know, it's, it's hard to say. It's this painting. I hate it. Look at it. It's so yellow. It's like I'm staring right into the face of the sun. I'm going to burn my eyes. Stay puffed. Something must be done. Maybe we try a different... No, oh no. Too big. Too Donkey Kong. Also too Donkey Kong. Two the same. Two third time Donkey Kong. Two fourth time Donkey Kong. There's too much Donkey Kong. Okay. What if we made it exactly this size? Yeah, Kind of looks like vomit. What about this one? Pretty boring. Very grayscale. Same painting. It's like a rotten burrito. There's just no good solution. Unless... We make our own. Well, hello there, and welcome back to the Skellyverse. So, as we have seen, we are in need of a much better painting. A happier painting. A gentler painting, even if Stay Puff the Cat doesn't really understand. Why would he? He's a cat. Yeah, not about it. So, uh, first things first. Okay, we've got our... Rogue painting, we'll hang on to that. May need to burn it in a fire later. Uh, but let us head over to... Oh god, okay, I'm not in the mood for this today. Let's go, okay. Uh, let us head to the Cactus of Ultimate Justice. Be hey, look, a horse. aylan has got some horses over here. Horse and derp horse. Well, derp horse, welcome to the verse. You'll fit right in. In. Uh, anyway, we're going to go to the cactus because, yes, you saw it in the title and heard about it in the intro. We are going to create our very own Bob Ross painting in Minecraft to replace the painting that uh, just wasn't doing it for us over in the Floating Tudor Mansion. So, over the past, I don't know how many episodes, months of episodes, it's all been leading up to this. And as you can see here, uh, after all kinds of farms, we made a flower farm over there. We made a squid farm over there. We mined up a whole bunch of gravel and, and coin operated. Rob got us a whole bunch of sand and all of that with the dyes and everything on oh, and cactus for green dye and brown dye up there for, with the cocoa beans. Anyway, all that has led up to this collection here, which is a whole bunch of different concrete of different shades that we require for our Bob Ross painting. So now the only thing to do next is to find a place for it. Uh, so we need to find somewhere on the map and how this is going to work. Spoiler alert, because the time has come for spoilers, we are going to use the map function, which uh, actually, hmm, I should probably get some maps. Un momento, por favor. Okay, yeah, so uh, if you didn't know, the way the maps work in Minecraft is it, uh, oh, sun's going down, we'll have to deal with that in just a second. There's a 128 block uh, square 128 by 128, and wherever you look at a map, that's the square you're going to be on. It's going to fill it out. And you cannot actually change where the grid lines are on the map. Those are kind of preset. So uh, if we take one of our maps here and we click it, we now have a map of this area. And you can see we're actually down in the lower right hand corner of the map. That's just because that's the way the grid lines work out. You can't change where they are. So there's always going to be a map here. And then we move into that other section 
over this way to the east and we open up a map, it would be a separate map. Uh, it would be the next grid over. So what we need to do is fly around and find a grid that is mostly flat. We're going to be covering it entirely in concrete, so that's not a problem. However, nighttime is a problem. Okay, nighttime is now not a problem, uh, but like I was saying, yeah, we gotta find a spot to plop down our map. And then uh, we cover the ground with concrete and then you can put this map into an item frame and it's basically like a picture. So I think actually there's several item frames in here somewhere. There you go, there's a couple, a couple few. Uh, so say we put an item frame here, we plop our map down there and there you go, boom, map. It's gonna be a fantastic painting. So that means we need to take 128 by 128 area and cover it completely in the exact right types of concrete to recreate our Bob Ross painting. So uh, let's go do that first off. That's gonna be the biggest challenge. Uh, step one, find a place to put the map. Step two, put down all the concrete. And then step three, I will take you through the process that I use to not only get the picture into Minecraft, because I mean, I guess you could do it kind of freehand, but boy, would that suck. There's better ways, and I will show you that and direct you all the places to go to get this done for yourself. Uh, but first, if you look at old Silky Pants, um, I did have to <laughs> break down quite a bit of concrete. If you remember, this area was filled with boxes. That's all been moved into here. And uh, if you look inside these, some of them are concrete and some of them are concrete powders. So some of this had to be turned into concrete. Some of it didn't. But the stuff that got to be turned into concrete, I will show you a quick clip of doing that. I tried a few different ways to do it. Uh, and there's not really a best way. I mean, there's some ways easier than others. I ended up going with the method where I kind of sit in one spot and hold down both buttons. And maybe we'll talk about that a little more later. But but yeah, go ahead and check this quick montage of concrete breaking. Wasn't that delightful? There's so much of that. I didn't record anywhere near all of it, and Coin Operated Rob did a whole bunch of that for us, too. So, mad props to him. But if we head inside here to our cactus farm, uh, we have an XP farm down here that we can use to repair, because this pick is almost dead from mining up concrete, and also this trash bag poncho needs a little help. So what we do here is we uh, turn on the light to hold the die inside. Yeah, that's what we've done. Oh. It's been on for quite a while. Oops, I probably should have let that flow out a bit more. Uh, well, we'll turn it on after and then it'll all flow out. The idea here is let's take off the things that we don't necessarily need repaired and we will hold uh, this in our hand and take this out. And that should uh, completely repair our poncho. And then we will take that off and this guy and didn't completely repair the pick by wearing it. Okay, let's take another chunk. Good. And, whoops, didn't mean to do that. And another one. There we go. All nice and repaired. So, great, wonderful, fine. Now, let's turn this back off because we don't, <laughs> we don't need to hold all that in there. We're kind of have a backlog here. Anyway, doesn't matter. We are repaired. Let us go and find the very best location for this map. Now we can put it somewhere out of the way, uh, but we don't necessarily need to do that. I don't care if it's right over here. What we do need is to find a spot that's pretty flat so that we don't have to flatten it too much and a spot hopefully that is easy to deal with. We don't want a lot of water that we have to go over. I'm thinking desert's probably the easiest flattest area. What do we got going on down here? Uh, we got a lot more desert. Okay. 
I started putting waypoints in this map. So I got the squid farm there and uh, there's that guy. What else do we have? And then also we're kind of at the mercy of the grid lines, as I mentioned before. So we may have to go somewhere else. I wonder if up here is very flat. Anyway, I'm going to search around for a little bit, and I'll let you know when I've found the ideal place. This is the Wither Arena, by the way. We will get to that very soon. Okay, so that took a really long time. I decided to flap around all over the place. I actually started out over here. Here's a desert shack. This is home, home base. Uh, I looked around all these areas. None of those maps really fit. Uh, flew all up over here, up around here. Checked out this area. There was one potential map here. You can see I started to put the outline in of uh, where the map actually lined up in some pink wool, but there was this huge mountain. You can kind of see here the detail, the relief map, ton of digging. So uh, then I went back home and I started to check out down here near the terracotta biome that we have a portal somewhere out here that actually links up to the nether. And I found this area and I did the same thing. I started outlining wool. Uh, there are a couple problems. Obviously you can see there's hills over here, a little bit right here, but for the most part, this is all around 63, 64, which makes it kind of uh, okay. It's not a super ton of digging. There's the wool there over here. This is going to be a little digging to get this all flat. I. I mean, I'm pretty sure it needs to be flat. Maybe I should test that before I go and dig out this whole thing. But I think that the higher up something is, the lighter the color may be. So I don't know, maybe like one or two blocks isn't going to be a huge deal, but I would prefer it to be flat. So I'm probably going to take the time to grind it all down, which will be great. Uh, the only other problem is obviously these idiots here uh, have one of their little moron towers. So we're going to have to deal with that. We're going to have to uh, murder the crap out of them. Also, my Elytra is about to break. So I'm going to go ahead and land. Now, I suppose we just got to get to work. Got to flatten this out. That'll be step one. You can see I've already been fighting these dudes there and their terribleness. Uh, but flattening this will be step one. So let's go ahead and do that. After the flattening, we will get back at you so we can kind of take stock of where we are. But I think this is going to work. I mean, a little bit of a grind, but we will get there and uh, have to deal with these absolute geniuses over here. OK, let's do it. Okay, as you saw in the time lapse, the flattening is complete. We have our delightful pink wool borders all across the land here, and everything's been dug out to the exact same level, which is Y level 64. And that was just the most common even ground uh, that we could find that would involve the least amount of filling and the least amount of digging. It was right in the middle. Very convenient. I uh, haven't really dealt much with this Tower of Morons. They're still here. I think you can stop them spawning on grass by putting torches down, but I think they still spawn on sand, uh, something weird like that. So we'll just have to deal with them. Eventually, it won't matter because we won't be going down here. This is just the map area. So there we go. In classic distraction fashion. Actually, first, let's look at the actual map. We'll put it in the offhand. Ba -doop. 
and you can see, oops, helps if you fly. Okay, and you can see uh, compared to the map we saw before, ooh, yes, it's nice and flat. This is just different textures here. This is what's gonna allow us to create our delightful painting. And you can see the borders, the corners are there. Obviously I'm gonna mark over those. Those are just my guidelines for when we're gonna do this, okay? Great, but uh, as I was saying in classic distracted me fashion, I also went ahead and built a hut because I was sitting there, I had my little bed and a little chest and everything, and I was like, you know what? We need a temporary hut. And well, temporary hut, this guy likes it, don't you? He does. Temporary hut always turns into something a little bit more because I can't just build a dirt hut. I mean, come on, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, uh, this is what we ended up with. A little bit of a weird desert style, I guess. You know, like a desert temple. A little bit of decorations here and there just to give it a more homely feel. And we have our map uh, uh, right here. This is gonna be like our demo map. Um, but also cartography table, since we're gonna require that and some empty maps. So actually, if we put that in there, we end up with two of the same map. So we can put one here and we can keep one on us. And then when we're done, we can lock it with glass and then it will stay that way forever. And then if we want to, we can go back and create something else over the top of it. We can keep the copy of that locked version and we can have a different one at some point. Mm -hmm. Is there more wandering? There's a lot of these guys. That is exciting. Uh, so yes, uh, I showed you the map before, but let's just take a look here. Uh, this is where the map is. You can actually see it on this map pretty good. It looks pretty nice. Uh, and then it's the temporary base that I marked out there. This is all connected through the nether to all of the nether hub stuff. So there's a giant cactus, there's a desert shack, that's a flower farm, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I did have to go back and forth several times for repairs and for supplies. So I did connect this all to the nether. Oh, look at this, that'll stay open forever, okay. And I made this little portal room. You know me, I love a good portal room and I just kind of let my imagination go wild and we ended up with this. Kind of uh, neat, I think. I like it. Anyway, if you know anyone that needs sand, go ahead and send them my way because I have a lot of it and some sandstone and then some dirt and some random stuff from them guys. Uh, that's all from just clearing out the area and I use some of it to fill. Obviously, the only thing I didn't do is the portal room on the other side of this portal, but it is connected through the nether and you saw that in the time lapse, probably. If not, I mean, we'll throw in another clip of it. now because what we want to do now is actually fill all this in. So we've brought all of our stuff over. Here's all our boxes of, uh, oh, there we go. Now you can see it with the shulker box mod. Uh, you can see all of our different concretes. I'm gonna just stock my inventory up with those and I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna create the map of justice. The Bob Ross painting we will look at when it is complete. So. Uh, the clearing and everything, that took a couple solid hours. I imagine filling this in is gonna take mm, between four and six hours. Uh, maybe, if you have a guess, feel free to put it in the comments. I will let you know once it's done what the final time was. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that time lapse.
amazing. Look at this. We have completed, finally completed our Bob Ross painting. Let's get a nice high vantage point. Oh yes, it's incredible. Look at the detail. Look at the colors. You can see it on the map too. Look at it, it's on the map. Oh, amazing. So it didn't take quite as long as I thought. It only took about two hours just to place everything down, which is still a long time of just going click, 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 click with all the blocks and the back and forth to get the supplies. We used almost everything. I think I erred on the side of caution somewhat on some of the colors. So there's a box. Here it is. Uh, this is all the spares. So I had a little bit extra of some of the colors, which I knew was going to happen because I, I just I wanted to have enough just in case something happened to them or the creepers blew them up or whatever. But it's done. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. It was incredibly satisfying to finally see that all put together after the months of work to make this happen with all the resource gathering and all the planning and digging and placing and uh Mad props to Coin Operator Rob for all his help along the way with gathering resources, with converting concrete, and just general motivational support. But yes, it is done. So uh, now, the moment. Here is our map. The map that uh, we put up here originally. You can see there's the little outlines over here for the little guys. But if we pop him down here and we take him out here, as soon as we open this map up, it should start to update. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's get the corner filled in. There we go. That's it. There's our painting. So now that we have our map, let's make a couple copies just in case. Uh, where's my map supplies? There we go. Map. Put him, I'll oh, put him there, put him there, and then you get your map. And then you put him there, and you put him there, and then you get your map. All right, so we've got three of these maps. And then um, let's go ahead and lock them. And you do that uh, like a so. There we go. That's a locked map. Okay, so we have three of those maps, and they are locked forever, which... Uh, which means, oh, don't just throw it on the ground. Which means that even if we were to change these blocks, this map is not going to update. Even if, even if we took it out here and we said, hey, map, look at all this new stuff, it wouldn't see it. So uh, that is very convenient. And uh, we'll go ahead and no, no, we're not going to plop this here. I will, but I'm not going to show you. I want the final reveal of this map to be in the Tudor Mansion, uh, floating back over the main area of the Skellyverse. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and head back there. And, uh, uh oh, we appear to be here already. That's, uh, it's been a problem lately. Some type of dark magic around the verse tends to turn my desires into reality. Well, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth, as it were. Let's go ahead and head on in. Stay puffed. I have some wonderful news. He's so excited. Uh, yes, a much better painting is coming soon. So let's go ahead and blood owl and blood owl. <laughs> ah, it's so good. It's so good. Stay puffed. He loves it. Look at him staring at it. Look at the happy little trees, and the happy little river down here, happy little mountain, friendly little clouds. And this guy, he needs a friend. Here's, here, let's make him a little friend right there. That's what I was thinking the entire time I was uh, doing this here. So now, why don't we go ahead and take... Oh, let's close the door in our own face. That's a fantastic idea. Uh, ba what was I talking about? Do you know? Do I know? All right. So... I know I said in the beginning of this episode that I was going to show you exactly how to create this type of thing in your very own world and all the steps to it and make it nice and easy, but uh, we've kind of run out of time for this episode today, and I think it would be best if I dedicated an entire episode to just a tutorial of how to do this and go through each and every step and all the mods required and all the websites required and the manipulation and configuration and everything it will be a lot cleaner and it would make more sense outside the context of our Let's Play here. So, I will do that. Look for that coming soon on the channel. Hello, non-friend. I think I can hit it. Oh, he's gone. 
Okay, he teleported away. Fantastic. We got magic creepers. Uh, not a problem, Stay Puff. Don't worry. Just some magic creepers. That's uh, never a problem. Fancy table, eh? Yeah. Uh, anyway, unfortunately, that is all the time that we have for today. So, if you enjoyed the video that you just saw with your human eyes, go ahead and subscribe, and you will be notified the next time I post one, such as the aforementioned upcoming map creating tutorial. Go ahead and leave a comment if you like. I try to answer every single one. And until next time, peace out. Oh, Lord. Oh, I've broke the painting. Emergency. Ah, uh, much better. All right. A bloop -ba -da doo That was me plugging in my keyboard. Uh, use a quieter keyboard because, you know, recording. I've got a very, very clicky mechanical keyboard that I love typing on and I I did use it in videos. People thought it was a little too clackety. So now we use this. Oh boy, that's, that's uh, this is some typing. Okay, great. And then if I do it with this other keyboard, which is also connected, harder to type on that because it's a little, I had to set it further away. Anyway, uh, not important. It's not what we're here to discuss. No one online <laughs> to see me saying this is some typing. <laughs> okay.